So you can look at the numbers, mm, you can look at the numbers in detail, but the main thing is watch out for energy supply. Don't have a David Cameron <coughs> windmill on the top of your office, along with a hamster down the basement on the wheel and the, you know, the rubber band transmission mechanism. Get something serious as standby without panicking, because you know, if the lights go out, you've really got a problem, even with Sage software. <coughs> and my demand for the noughties and the teenies, Battersea Power Station should be a power station. This will make me very unpopular in South London, where I live, I'm even in favour of it being nuclear, but uh, it's about time. Energy supply, not energy conservation, is what we should be debating about and what you should be lobbying for. Well, there's also a housing crisis. What's the problem there and how do we sort of balance up one side of it with another side to it and come to some resolution? That's important. Thesis, antithesis, synthesis. Well, here's what they've been doing in Tokyo and uh, elsewhere in Japan. Toyota makes these houses. They cost about mm, 150,000 pounds. Now, you might not like the Tudor Bethan aesthetics there, ladies and gentlemen, and indeed the Japanese guy on the left looks sick as a dog about them. But um, it does show that we don't have to rely on mud, rain, and low-paid poles, much as I love the poles, to deliver the houses of the future, to make sure that you don't live with your grandchildren for 30 years and so on.